Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna talk about iOS 18 because once again, this software is being referred as to one of the biggest updates coming to the iPhone in many, many years, if not the biggest in history, yes. Now, I know a lot of you guys probably thinking, you know, many years or every year we hear the same thing. iOS will get a drastic change. Something big is happening, but this year, this year will be a little bit different, and I'll explain the reasons why I believe Apple will be changing iOS drastically this year when it comes to iOS 18. I want to talk about features that Apple themselves have basically already confirmed to be coming to the iPhone. I want to talk about rumored features that are set to be coming to the iPhone and much more, even expect a release date for the first beta. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to do is take a look at Mark Gurman's latest report over on X. I'll link this in the description down below. He's being told the new operating system, of course, or referring to iOS 18, is seen within the company as one of the biggest iOS updates, if not the biggest, in the company's history. Stay tuned for more is what he mentions here. So, of course, I'm sure he'll share more details in regards to iOS 18 as the first beta release date approaches. So, one of the new features coming to the iPhone with iOS 18 is RCS support, Rich Communication Services, and this will be integrated into messages. Now, again, this has been confirmed by Apple, so this is coming to the iPhone with iOS 18, and basically what this will enable is richer communication with Android devices. Now, keep in mind, iMessage will still be the predominant messaging service from iPhone to iPhone in Apple's ecosystem, but if you message someone with an Android device, you'll get better support for higher resolution photos and videos, larger file sharing, cross-platform emoji reactions will now be available, so things you typically get from iPhone to iPhone, like real-time typing in indicators, red receipts, improved group chat, and even better encryption. This is coming to the iPhone with iOS 18. So again, iMessage will still be iMessage, but RCS will be integrated into iOS 18 to improve the quality of messaging between iPhone and Android devices. Now, one of the biggest features rumored to be coming to the iPhone this year is AI integration. Now, Apple has already confirmed to be investing millions of dollars in AI to integrate within the ecosystem and the iPhone's operating system. And AI can be used for many things, not only Siri, but I'm sure Siri will get some AI integration, but it can be used for software suggestions, photo suggestions, analyzing the operating system, Apple Music suggestions, and playlist creation. Right now, Apple is using AI. You probably don't already know, but Apple is using AI to create a feature that's already on your iPhone called personal voice. You can use personal voice to train your iPhone to sound basically exactly like you. And this is AI, of course. Apple doesn't like to call this AI. They like to call this machine learning. But yeah, AI will most likely be a big one with an iOS 18 later this year. And of course, AI integration or large language models could be integrated within Siri as well to compete within the lights of ChatGPT and many others in this space. Hopefully, we'll see the biggest update to Siri forever, right? We've been waiting for Siri to get an update, and this year could be the biggest update in terms of AI and Siri in Apple's history. Now, Mark Gurman also mentions that iOS 18 will include new designs. Now, I want to show you what Vision Pro style icons will look like on the iPhone if Apple decides to change the iPhone and give it rounder icons. Take a look at this. What do you think about something like this? Rounder icons. Keep in mind, Apple recently released Vision Pro, and Vision Pro does have round icons, although the Apple Watch also features round icons for years. That has not impacted iOS, but I think Apple could bring some of the elements from Vision Pro to get users to be more familiar with the Vision Pro operating system and iOS, perhaps, if they do decide to give you the option to make rounder icons, or round icons, rather, Will you do something like this or will you be rocking something like this on your iPhone? Now, again, this is not confirmed information. This is me just showing you what round icons like Vision Pro or Vision OS look like on the iPhone. But if you had the chance, will you rock round icons on your iPhone or would you stick with the regular icons as per usual? on your device as we normally have them. Now, we don't know exactly what new designs Apple will be integrating within iOS 18. This could be different size widgets. It can be different integration within the lock screen, maybe the menus and dynamic island, and perhaps even the settings application will see new designs within the operating system, maybe a more modern design. We're not sure just yet, but I think this is the year where we'll definitely see something change within the operating system that will give it a more modern look. And I have a feeling that Vision OS will have some sort of influence in a design language for iOS this year. I could be wrong. Now, let's talk about the first beta 
expect a release date for iOS 18. I know a lot of you guys are probably excited this year for Apple's next major update. Apple usually announces the first beta the first day of WWDC. Now, I believe WWDC 2024 will start June 3rd through the 7th. Now, this is not confirmed information. This is just me speculating based on previous dates of WWDC, but I think it's going to be June 3rd through the 7th. And on June 3rd, if that is the day, we will see iOS 18 beta 1 on June 3rd, 2024. So I'm looking forward to Apple's announcement of WWDC. That way we have an official confirmation for the first beta as they typically do the first beta, the first day of the event. And of course, I can't wait to see what Apple will do with iOS 18, finally see some of these big changes, huge changes that are rumored to be coming to the iPhone. Most likely the biggest update in its history, according to Mark Gurman. Let me know what you think in those comments down below. Are you looking forward to iOS 18 or do you think this is just going to be like every other year where we hear new changes are coming and then it turns out to not really be the case? Let me know in those comments down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.